First at 5:30, a warning for pet owners. Those snakes we always warn you about in the Carolinas won't just bite you; they'll bite your pet too. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I'm Rachel Brown, alongside Bill McGinty. Yeah, Charlotte family adopted their dog. The dog's name is Ludo, and they did that last year. It was an adventurous dog when it was apparently bitten by a snake. And we have a warning tonight for you, especially for you owners. Yeah, NBC Charlotte's Evan West joins us now. Evan, you caught up with Ludo. How is the dog doing? He's going to be just fine, Rachel. Now, the veteran doesn't know if that snake was venomous or not, but he says that Ludo is a large enough dog that he can handle a bite. However, a smaller animal probably wouldn't have been so fortunate. Ludo, go away. Come here. Go away. He is a Chinese understanding snake bite surviving rescue dog. He has a huge personality. He's like, one of the funniest dogs I've ever met in my life. You can tell by his different colored eyes that Ludo is a bit ludicrous, but this half dingo is no dingus. He is one cool canine. I don't know anybody that's met him that hasn't just fallen in love immediately. Yeah. Sometimes his adventurous side takes over. So we had to take our handle off of our fridge because he kept opening it. So he's into food. We can all dig that. Oh, great. It's what Ludo found in the backyard. And he just started crying and crying and crying. That almost had Rebecca digging a grave for her beloved boy. When we saw the two distinct puncture wounds, that was no that was when we knew it was a snake. His left eye was so swollen, Rebecca feared the worst, but the vet came through with great news. Because it was so far away from his heart and not near any major veins to just give him the Benadryl and monitor him. Three days later and he's back to earning his nickname the escape artist. He's not down to come back, I don't think. <laughs> come on. Rebecca is hoping Ludo's story can be a lesson for other pet owners. He'll be fine. I love that dog. Now, Ludo also a service dog, and he got bit at night, so Rebecca wasn't able to do this, but the vet says if your animal does get bit by a snake, it's, in crucial, it's important if you can take a photo of that, it could hi help identify that snake as venomous or not, and then ultimately help save your pet's life. Reporting live tonight, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. Good information, Evan, and you're right. That dog's no dingus. Thanks for pointing that out. Sending things outside tonight, a beautiful day across the Carolinas. You can see the sun is shining.